Last year, a whopping 272 million folks decided to play musical chairs with countries, as per the International Organization for Migration. Now, before you start picturing a giant human migration parade, that's just around 3.5% of the whole world's population. Still, it's like a global game of Where's Waldo? But instead of a striped shirt, people are searching for better opportunities. Why do they do it? Well, it's a mixed bag of reasons. Some are chasing the money. Others are after a change of scenery, and some just want to find a place where everyone knows their name. Immigrants often become the unsung heroes, providing the muscle power in developed countries or bringing in some serious brain power for those industries that need a little extra sparkle. So next time you meet someone from another country, give them a high five for keeping the world interesting. Now, grab some popcorn, because in this video, we're spilling the beans on the seven countries that are all about welcoming immigrants. Number seven, France. All right, so here's the lowdown on France and immigration. It's like they've got a welcoming party going on, with 8.5 million immigrants making it their home sweet home. Imagine that, France being the seventh heaven for folks from all walks of life. The guest list. Well, you've got your pals from Portugal, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, and Italy. It's like a mini United Nations up in here. And let's not forget the history lesson. France has been a magnet for people from its former colonies in Africa and Asia. Plus, a sprinkle of Europeans for good measure? But hold on to your barret, because the French government loves a good plot twist. In 2018, they decided to speed up the asylum process and play deportation tag with the illegal immigrants. Family reunification got a makeover, and getting permanent residency turned into a tougher game for asylum seekers. Talk about a policy roller coaster. Yet, despite the ups and downs, France is still the cool kid on the block. Why? Well, it's got the economic swagger, a top-notch standard of living, and a cultural mixtape that's hard to resist. But hey, it's not all croissants and baguettes. Immigration has become the French political drama series. Some folks want tighter controls, others are into the whole integration scene. In a nutshell, France's immigration story is like a box of assorted chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. It's a mix of history, policy, acrobatics, and a pinch of controversy. Number six, United Arab Emirates. So guess what? The United Arab Emirates is basically a melting pot of people from all around the world. I mean, they've got a whopping 8.7 million foreigners hanging out there, which is like 89% of the whole gang in the country. Talk about a global party. Now the people in the UAE are mostly from Asia, with a massive 5.8 million folks rocking in from places like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and the Philippines. There's also a bunch of African and European expats adding their flair to the mix. 2.2 million Africans and 1.6 million Europeans to be exact. Why are so many people flocking to the UAA, you ask? Well, the country is offering all kinds of perks. Job opportunities, tax-free income, and a high standard of living. No wonder their economy is riding high on the backs of these foreign wizards, making up more than 80% of the workforce. And get this. The UAE is like, hey, come one, come all, with their open-door immigration policy. They're throwing initiatives left and right to lure in skilled workers and entrepreneurs. In the end, the UAE's immigrant extravaganza is a symbol of their economic awesomeness and global hotshot status. Number five, United Kingdom. The United Kingdom, or the UK if you're feeling fancy, is basically a melting pot with around 9.4 million immigrants hanging out. Now who's bringing their A-game to the UK? Well, you've got folks from India, Poland, Pakistan, and China leading the pack. They're here for the classic combo of economic opportunities, education, and that elusive thing we call a better quality of life. And hey, history alert! The UK has been the cool kid on the immigration block for ages. It's like the go-to spot for those wanting a slice of the British pie. Fast forward to today, and you've got this awesome mix of cultures spicing up the UK. These immigrants are not just adding flair to the scene. They're also giving the economy a little boost. Now let's talk tea, crumpets, and politics. The UK's immigration policy is like the talk of the town. People are debating left and right about how it affects jobs, public services, and whether it's like a group hug or more of a tug of war for social harmony. So, in a nutshell, the UK is like that friend who throws a good party. A bit complicated, 
sometimes controversial, but always on the invite list. Number four, Russia. So guess what? Russia's like the immigration hub, ranking fourth globally with a whopping 11.6 million immigrants. Most of these folks are basically neighbors from the good old Soviet Union days, about 7.3 million of them. And hold on to your hats, because ever since the Russian-Ukraine showdown started, over 1.3 million Russians decided to take a little European vacation through the land borders. Why are people flocking to Russia, you ask? Well, it's like a melting pot of dreams. Economic opportunities, political stability, and a dash of cultural integration. The Russian government's on a mission to actively recruiting foreign talent, especially in the cool, high-tech, and scientific sectors. They're basically saying, come join the party. Let's modernize this place. Now the guest list. Well, it's like a global who's who. Philippines, Vietnam, China, India, and the Republic of Korea. Number three, Saudi Arabia. So picture this. Saudi Arabia, the land of sand dunes and endless possibilities, also happens to be a hotspot for people looking to spice up their lives with a change of scenery. With a whopping 13.5 million immigrants, it's like the ultimate melting pot of cultures. Now, the majority of these adventurous souls are rolling in from Asia, with India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Egypt, and the Philippines leading the charge. They're not just there for the sandcastles. They're attracted to Saudi Arabia's booming oil economy like moths to a flame. Sure, the living and working conditions might be a bit rugged, but hey, who needs a walk in the park when you've got economic opportunities knocking at your door? It's like a harsh reality check, but with a side of financial gain. And get this, folks, migration is basically Saudi Arabia's thing. It's part of their tradition, like having tea in England or eating pizza in Italy. Ever since the oil boom in the 70s, the Saudi government has been waving its arms, beckoning skilled and semi-skilled workers to join the party. Of course, no party is complete without a few gate crashers. Saudi Arabia has around 5 million illegal immigrants, mostly sneaking in from Africa and Asia. But fear not, they've got eviction plans in the works. The Saudi government is playing the host with the most, introducing measures like the sponsorship system and a program to promote local talent. It's their way of saying thanks for coming. Now let's keep this party classy. Number two, Germany. Well, look at Germany strutting its stuff as the second highest magnet for immigrants, with a whopping 15.8 million people making their way there. Now, who's hanging out in Germany? Well, you've got your buddies from Poland, Turkey, Russia, Kazakhstan, and Syria throwing a bit of an international party. Why is everyone flocking to Germany, you ask? Well, they've got this killer combo of a strong economy, a bit of an aging population situation, and they're a key player in the European Union. They've even rolled out the red carpet for skilled workers, creating a smooth system to make sure everyone feels at home. And let's not forget the drama. Germany's been in the spotlight during the European migrant crisis, taking in refugees like it's the latest fashion. That's brought some serious changes to the neighborhood, sparking debates about what it all means for the economy and culture. But hold your letter, Hosen, because the German government isn't just twiddling its thumbs. They're all about integration, throwing language lessons, job training, and cultural shindigs to make sure everyone's in sync. Overall, Germany's like the cool party host, juggling global dynamics and homegrown issues, making sure they stay top-notch in the world's immigration scene. Number one, United States. All right, buckle up. The U.S. is like the immigrant hotspot of the world, hosting a whopping 50.6 million people who decided to call it home. That's over 15% of the entire population doing their thing on American soil. This country has been the cool kid on the immigration block for ages. They've been waving people in for centuries, inviting them to settle down and be a part of the American dream. Now, the top five countries sending their best and brightest to the U.S. Party are Mexico, India, China, the Philippines, and El Salvador. And guess what? The U.S. has seen its immigrant squad grow by a whopping 400% since 1965. That's like going from a cozy gathering to a full-blown fiesta. The land of the free and the home of the brave just can't resist attracting people from every nook and cranny for jobs, family reunions, and the promise of a melting pot of cultures. From science and technology to business and the arts, immigrants are the VIPs making America 
a star-studded show. And with this, we have reached the end of this video. If you found it helpful, then make sure to like it and subscribe the channel for future upcoming videos.